Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on Jest from Software Testing Help. As part of this tutorial, we will cover different configuration options that are available in Jest. We'll see how you can set up a Jest configuration file independently as well as part of the package.json. We'll see different coverage options through the Jest configuration and we'll see how you can set up global VARs to be used in all tests through Jest configuration. So let's get started. I have a sample node based project which has just dependency already added. I have written a calculator function which is not, nothing but a simple math operations and has a couple of functions like sum, divide, multiply, etc. And I have written some tests here which basically call these functions in our math operations class and validate the output. So that's a simple node based project here. And now let's see how you can add a configuration here. Now Jest provides support for uh, an, its own configuration file where you can specify different options ranging from code coverage or specific to mock or specific to individual test etc. So Jest provides a whole range of configuration options. If you go to official Zest documentation website, it has a complete section on configuration which lists down the all these configuration options here and it provides a lot of documentation extensively for these as well. So you can go and explore all of these if you want but for this video we'll cover some of the most commonly used ones that is mostly for code coverage. So let's get started. Let's first see how you can add a just config file. Just config file can be used independently. So that means is you can have a separate just config file, which is a JSON based file, or you can integrate the just configuration inside the package of JSON itself. So let's try both the approaches. I'll add a config file as a separate JSON file and I'll name it as just config.json now it's nothing but a JSON file let's try add adding options for coverage so for that the properties collect coverage simply set it to true even with this option you should be able to run your test with coverage now in order to use this just config I'll go to my package.json and in the test script I'll simply add config parameter here and I'll say just config.json now since both of them are at the same path I should not be using any relative path here because both are at the same level and now let's try running this test and if I go up you can see that it has printed the coverage report here and why it has printed because it is now using this just config.json file here which says collect coverage true if I set it to false and run this test again You can see that now it will not show any coverage options here so again we can add different options here let's try adding coverage threshold here threshold is nothing but we specify what are the values we want for different types of coverage like branch functions lines etc so if I say branches should be 95% covered and functions should we say 100% covered suppose lines should be 100% covered and now what I have written is this threshold applies to global that means all the functions or all the classes that are there inside this node based project 
so now after adding the threshold here let's try running these tests again okay I've set collect coverage false we need to set it as true and save and run these tests again and you can see that it is displaying this coverage along with it saying that global coverage threshold for lines was not met it was expected as 100 percent but was actually 71 percent so similar to this global threshold you can also add threshold for specific functions so suppose i want to add threshold for say my class that is calculator dot js class and it's quite possible that in projects wherein for some critical business logic functions you would want your coverage to be 100% and for other like non-essential utilities or helpers you might want to reduce coverage so you can selectively mention coverage thresholds for files or classes depending on your needs so again I'll probably copy this from here let's save this run this with npm test and you can see that it has now run and it's now saying that in function that is what we have written here for our calculator or js threshold for lines was 100 percent but it was not met it was 71 percent if i reduce it to say 60 percent i'll stop getting this error npm test and you can see here now we don't get a line threshold error but since functions it is 100 percent actually 60 percent so that's how you can mention coverage threshold options there is another option that is uh, coverage reporters let's try that as well so that is nothing but to use coverage reports or to create coverage reports we can use lcov which is uh, linux coverage and it comes along with jest and along with this we'll probably also use the coverage directory option or configuration option which says or specifies where would you like to persist your report like folder location where you want your code coverage report probably i I'll write say, output dot code coverage and let's try running our test again. Now we'll see that the code coverage should be generating a report. We can see that output code coverage it has written an LCOF report and if I open this index.html You can see here now it has opened the report with calculator.js and it's also showing what functions are not covered so generally these are the reports you want when you want your test to run as part of the ci pipeline wherein you know you can get these reports as files along with your build artifacts and then refer later and fix issues as required so these are couple of options configurations provide that are related to coverage let's see some of them that are for test so you can use options like test timeout say suppose uh, 100 now this is nothing but uh, specifying timeout in milliseconds so if a test uh, there is a test that is uh, you know running for more than 100 milliseconds those tests will be skipped with this option and this is a test level it applies to all the tests we can have other options like globals which can be used to basically define uh, global variables at all the test levels so if, if i say global where and i give it as some test value one two three something like that now what this means is for each and every test in this 
whole project it will have access to this global variable which will have the value as test value 1 2 3 so it's very useful for things like you have you want to set certain flags or certain values or some global strings you can use them here and use anywhere in the test so we can probably go to any of our test and do a console log and I'll say probably global where let's try running this and you can see that it is printing that value test value 1 to 3 whatever we have written here in just config.json if I change this to something else like hello world and save it run this test again you can see now it's printing hello world so what this means is uh, this global variable will be available to all the tests that are there in this project and we can you know use it for any condition for all the global variables you can define in this config now let's see since this just config we have used it as an external file not as part of the package although it's easy to maintain but if you just have like one or two options like collect coverage or etc there's no need to maintain a separate file what you can do is you can have this file or configuration as part of the package.json itself so just copy this whole content go to package.json add a new key which is named as jest and just paste this values here so now we have integrated this jest config.json inside our npm itself and i'll remove this option now since we already have a just configuration here and if I run this test again now let's remote remove the code coverage here so that we can run it again and ensure that it's working fine with this setup in package.json itself and we can see that it can create it creates the code coverage directory again when we execute this test so that's how you can specify the just configuration within the package.json itself and use it from here directly so that's it for this tutorial thank you